I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on pre-calculus. Here is an excellent question on polynomial characteristics. It has been seen in test papers many times. Let us see how to solve this type of question. A function f of x equals to a x to the power of 4 plus 8x square has three turning points, an absolute maximum of 8 and one of the zeros at x equals to 2. Part A of the question is determine the value of A and then sketch the graph of the function. B. How many zeros will the graph of f of x plus 1 have? Explain your answer. You can always pause the video and answer the question. Now my approach here is to let's uh, factor whatever we can we are given f of x as a x to the power of 4 plus 8x squared. So we can factor x squared. So once you do that, you will get a x squared plus 8. So that becomes the fact, uh, function in the factored form. Now, we are given this statement that one of the zeros is at 2. Now this 0 is at 0, right? So this is 0 at 0. Now this 0 should be at x equals to 2. That really means that if I substitute 0 for x in that case, we should get a 0, right? So we want 0 at 2. That means f of 2 is equal to 0. So if I substitute 2 here, we get 2 squared times uh, 2 square times a plus 8. Now 2 square is 4. That cannot be 0. That means that only 2 square plus 8 could be 0. Right? Which is, uh, so we can write that 2 square times a plus 8 equals to 0. And that is 4 times a equals to minus 8. And taking 4 on this side, we get minus 8 over 4, which gives us minus 2 as our answer. So that means the value of a is 2, right? So we get a is equals to minus 2. So now we can rewrite the function as f of x equals to minus 2 x to the power of 4 plus 8x square. Now let's again factor. So we can factor minus 2x square. We are left with x square. Dividing 8 by minus 2 gives us minus 4. And uh, this can be written as minus 2x square x plus 2 times x minus 2. So we have factored this and we have three zeros. Now, that is the factored form. We have found the value of a, which is right there. So that is part a for us. Now, let us try to sketch the graph of this function. Uh, to sketch the graph, let's uh, uh, mark the zeros. So let us say we have zeros at 0 plus minus 2, right? So we'll sketch the graph here on this side we have a 0 at uh, x equals to 0 and the order of the 0 is 2 and then we have a 0 at plus and minus 2 so let us say that is minus 2 and this is plus 2 leading coefficient is negative that means the right side is down these are linear zeros right so these are linear And this is quadratic. So the function graph will turn at this point. Negative means right side down. So we can actually, or, and both same sides since the degree is 4, as you can clearly see. So the graph of this function will be kind of like this. Uh, it has even symmetry. And what we are given also is that the maximum, the absolute maximum is 
8 right so this is x absolute maximum of 8 that is 0 and this point here is minus 2 the other point is 2 is that clear to you so that becomes our function well you, if you figure out then you'll find that this maximum value occurs at uh, plus and minus square root 2 right so this will be minus square root of 2 and that will be at plus square root of 2 so you can figure this out also so anyway we did find the function here which satisfied all the given conditions and the value of a uh, is minus 2 for us so we're done with part a now part b which is very interesting it says how many zeros will the graph of this is the graph of f of x right how many zeros will the graph of f of x plus 1 have well if you push this graph one unit up you'll get only two zeros right so only two zeros for the graph of f of x plus 1 right reason very simple when you push it up the whole graph will move two units up and what we are going to get is something like this right so the the maximum value will will still be there at one more than eight which would be at nine right this value here will be at one you pushed it up by one unit so we have only two zeros as you can see perfect so so i hope with this the concept about polynomial characteristics are kind of clear and uh, you now understand how to solve such a question feel free to write your comment share your views and if you like and subscribe to my videos that'd be great thanks for your time and all the best